Hello everyone, welcome to lesson 25 of C Programming on the Mac. In this tutorial, I'm going to be giving a brief introduction to some math functions in C and how to use all of these different math functions that are already pre-made for us. So basically, um, we've already worked with this header file, which is our standard input-output header file, but there's also a header file that has tons of math functions, and if you want to use any of them, uh, without creating your own function to do the math. You can use these simple functions that they've already created for you. So the header file that you want to include is math.h and basically it has tons of functions that you can use and all these functions are defined in um, the Wikipedia page for um, sta the C standard library, the one that I linked to before if you want to just find it quickly, just type in C standard library and I'm sure you'll find it. And basically on the side here they have all the separate libraries and what you want to look for is the math.h. And basically there are tons of different functions that you can work with um, basically if you have anything that you want to work with. Um, they're pretty much all here so um, I'm just going to be going through a few with you right now. Um, basically the absolute value function the square root function and the power function because those are pretty common ones and I just thought I'd go through them with you now. So um, to get started all you'd have to do is since these all return the values um, when you put them in the functions all I'd have to do is put a printf in and since all these return a floating point um, you have to use a percent %f unless you want to um, convert it into an int, but I'll show you how to do that in a second too. But let's say we want to find, um, just use a power function right now. So it's pow, that's our function. And as you can see, it asks for two doubles. And we're just going to say four to the second power. And we'll go ahead, build and run this. And as you can see, we get 16 as our result, because 4 to the second power is 16. But it gives us these extra six zeros at the end, because that's the float default uh, to have six decimals afterwards. So if we wanted to convert this into an integer, um, of course, obviously, in some cases, um, with different numbers and stuff, when you square root, or sorry, if you send it to a different power, uh, basically it will it might have some decimals in it so that's why they don't make it an int but if you want to make it an integer you can use int typecasting and just throw the int in front of it and then it will turn whatever you receive from this function into an integer and then you could just use percent %d to print it out so in this case here we get 16 so if that's um, just one way to work with different functions because they all return floats as far as I can tell. I, that's just because they're accurate math functions, so of course they're going to use decimals. So um, I'm just going to go back to my percent %f and I'm going to show you some different functions. So there's also the, what other functions are those? Uh, the absolute value function, which is actually not uh, just abs, it's fabs which stands for, I think, floating point and then absolute value, basically. And um, that just means that it's a double. So I could put in any absolute value in here. So I could put in negative 4.2, run this, and I would get the absolute value of 4.2, because 4.2 is the absolute value of negative 4.2. And another quick math function is the square root function which also uses a double, as you can see. And if I wanted to find the square root of, let's say, 16, I'll throw that in here. And as you can see, the square root of 16 is 4. So those are just some quick math functions. I thought if anybody was interested in um, any functions, again, those are all on the Wikipedia page for um, the C standard library. Just go to the sidebar and you'll see all the different libraries available. And it's just math.h. So you can check them out and play with different functions. And I just thought I'd introduce you to uh, different pre-made functions that they already have for you. And on top of that, uh, if you wanted to know, they also have separate things which are not defined in that uh, the library thing on the Wikipedia page. But they also allow you to use stuff like pi 
then it's m pi for um, the pi constant or the thing that they define as pi. And if you wanted to build and run this, it would print out pi in a float. So basically, um, th that's just math.h for you in a um, short little tutorial. Um, of course, you can do more research and check out some different functions. But I just thought if anybody was interested in any of these functions, this is where it is. It's all in math.h. Alright, see you next tutorial.